Hey everybody, it's Steve from We Just Play Games. This is Batman Arkham Knight, and can you hear that? It's opera music. You can hear it, right? And that means there's a body nearby, which I have to investigate. Oh, fuck! I'm gonna be a body soon. Okay, we're good now. So we're just gonna do this. Here we go. If I'm going to stop this killer, I should analyze the body I found on the rooftop of the Gotham Herald. But there's one here. There's a body right here. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. Ha! Okay, Batman The Long Halloween is an actual comic. It's pretty good. Uh, so this has to be Hush. Oh man, music just got him grizzly. Okay, so it's a dude and he's got something wrong with his rib cage. You alright? Nope, wrong thing. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. You know, he might be doing things to bodies that are reflections of villains. Because there is a great white shark. It's a Batman villain. Oh, what's that? Fake eye? The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. On to the next one. Bone. Oh ho! Oh. Implant. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. The chick? Alfred. The victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Really? Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. He's trying to look like someone else. And this is the body of a male. Alright, where's the next one? Because I know there's another one. If I'm going to stop this killer, I should analyze the body I found on the rooftop of the Gotham Herald. You turn! He's fucking planning something. What's wrong with you? I tell you, this is a sweeter gig than sweeping for IEDs in Korok, that's for sure. I'm sorry about Barbara Bruce. It's terrible. But look, just call the temp agency and I'm sure they'll send you another. Yeah, that might be a bit of a spoiler on your part. My bad. If you're only watching this for the body locations, I don't know what you need to do. I'm just here to serve. Whoosh! Okay, I'm getting bored. I say we do them now. How? I don't know how. All I know is it's gotta be now. Now? Yeah, now. What are you, Nep? Okay, what are you thinking? Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. Indeed. Tattoo? Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. 
20 years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary, a small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Okay, never mind. This looked like there were some sort of weird deposits in the skin there. Oh, hello, pacemaker? Remnants of a pacemaker fitted yep. to the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. We're down to 28 people. Let's see what he's broken. Ooh. False knee? False knee! Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis. Never mind. A rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocargo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Is there any more? I don't believe there's any more. Abducting people, stripping away their identity, killing them. This man's deranged. He needs to be stopped. Following the source of the opera music has proved fruitful so far this evening, sir. I suggest you continue. You're watching me watch me watch myself. <laughs>